Hello, I'm Silvio Veroni, I'm Associate Professor at the University of Bologna and with David Shuttem I'm the Director of Open Citation, which is an independent, not-for-profit infrastructure organization for open scholarship dedicated to the publication of open bibliographic and citation data by the use of semantic web technologies. In this presentation, I will introduce the recent achievements of Open Citation and our current plans. However, since my presentation, uh, I will talk about citations, of course, it is crucial to introduce you what I mean with this concept. A bibliographic citation is a conceptual directional link from a citing entity to a cited entity for the purpose of acknowledging or ascribing credit for the contribution made by the authors of the cited entity. This link is defined by means of um, particular textual devices, such as bibliographic references included in, re in the reference list of the citing article, which is then denoted by an in-text reference pointer within the body of the citing entity. Citation data and related are related to a particular citation and must include the representation of such a conceptual directional link and the basic metadata of the citing entity and the cited entity that are sufficient information to create or retrieve textual bibliographic references for each of the entities involved in the citation. A bibliographic citation is an open citation when the data needed to define the citation are compliant with the following principle. Structure, that means that citation data must be expressed in one or more machine readable formats, such as JSON or, or RDF. Separate, meaning that the citation must be available without the need to access the source of such a bibliographic entity such as the article or the book in which the citation is defined that can be even behind the paywall open means that a citation data must be freely accessible and reusable without restriction for example by publication under cc0 universal waiver identifiable and available means that the citing and cited entities must be clearly identified by using specific identifier schemes such as doi or a URL, and it must be possible by resolving the identifiers of the citing and cited entities to obtain the basic metadata of both the entities, sufficient to create and retrieve textual bibliographic references for each of them. Such basic entity metadata must be themselves structured, separate, and open. From an historical point of view, the concept of open citation is strongly tied with that of the web. Since 1989, the web has drastically changed the way we think about academic publishing and science in general. Publishers themselves started to adopt web standards to create and deliver their products quickly and to a broader audience. Standards, guidelines, services based on web technologies have been proposed in the past 30 years to improve discoverability of academic products and publications, and to improve also research practices and to allow reusability of scholarly data in different applicative contexts. Open citations are no exception. Even if uh, the definition of open citation was provided only recently, Past works implicitly started to introduce their main characteristics. As far as I know, the first embryonal description of open citation is in Robert Cameron's visionary article published in 1997 and entitled Universal Citation Database as a Catalyst for Reform in Scholarly Communication. In this article, he speculated about the existence of a universal citation database which would have linked every scholarly work ever written, which should be decentralized, freely available over the internet and daily updated, providing all types of publication information of all, um, about all types of publication, not only journal articles, but also technical reports, data sets and other publication types. And all these publication should be equally visible and accessible to all. From this initial web age, things started to develop. 
In the same year, a Cameron's article, Sightseer, was launched, a service that crawled citations from PostScript document available on the web. Along the same lines, a few years later, a Sitebase was created in the context of the Opsite project. Still, a few years later on, Google Scholar was uh, launched for the very first time and was the first service to provide a fur, uh, an open interface for looking at paper of a scientist and in particular to the citation this paper received. Even if the data that are available, that are used for building this interface are not open, open accessible. Sightseer uh, X was uh, proposed a few uh, years later as an evolution to Sightseer in order to address some problems uh, of its predecessor, such as scalability problems in particular. But the tipping point for open citation was when a few years later, David Shuttern introduced the concept of semantic publishing. That is, the use of semantic web technologies applied to the scholarly publishing domain, in particular focused on adding semantic annotations to journal articles to make them more discoverable and reusable. This idea led him to the JISC Open Citation Project, project in 2010, a year-long project with a subsequent extension that aimed at creating a first corpus of open citation data entirely available on the web by using URL to identify resources and RDF to expose this data to the public. The idea of providing open citations was spread to the scholarly and publishing community in the following years, at least in two different editions of the annual conference of open access publisher. In the first talk was by David Shutton at OASPA 2013, and then Dario Taraborelli's speech at OASPA uh, 2016, where Dario highlighted in particular the essential need of release this kind of data as soon as possible for the benefit of the whole scholarly community. From 2016, everything started to change at scale, at large scale. In fact, since the importance of open citations got a broader audience and led to the introduction of open citations, one single word, uh, the open scholarly infrastructure I'm directing with David Shatton and Wikisite as testimonial of communities providing open citation data and services to allow their programmatic access. After this first in technical implementation in 2017, uh, the initiative for open citation I4C was launched with the mission of convincing publishers to make their reference lists free and openly available on Crossref. In the following years, some international events and other scholarly initiatives helped in increasing the interest in open citation and open citation data and the related technical infrastructures providing them. And now let me spend a few words talking about the infrastructure I'm directing with David Shatton that is open citation. Open Citation is a scholarly infrastructure organization dedicated to open scholarship and the publication of open bibliographic metadata and citation data by the use of semantic web technologies. We undertake as well advocacy for open scholarly metadata, particularly via uh, the Initiative for Open Citation and the Initiative for Open Ab Abstract, I4OA. Our goal is to provide open metadata with the scope, depth, accuracy and provenance surpassing commercial sources. We do provide data models, in particular the open citation data model that we use to describe all the bibliographic metadata and citation data open citations provide. Of course, we also provide bibliographic and citation data all released using the CC0 waiver to maximize their reuse. And these data are available in different collections, including the open citation indexes that currently are our main collection. All the software we develop to gather and expose this data is available in our GitHub repository and released with open source licenses to enable anyone 
maximum radius. Finally, all the data that are available online uh, are released as full dumps of open citation data that can be downloaded. And these data, the same data that you can download uh, in the dump, are, can be also accessed programmatically via REST API, Sparkle Endpoint, and other web interfaces. Our primary database is Koki, which is the open citation index of Crossref open DOI to DOI citation that currently hosts more than 1.2 billion citation and it is der derived from open references uh, in, within Crossref and includes also references within journal article published by Elsevier and the American Chemical Society recently uh, that have been recently uh, made available uh, as open data at Crossref. All these citations have been made available in linked open data by open citation and can be accessed programmatically by using, as I mentioned before, our REST API by specifying either the publication DOI of a specific article you are interested in or an open citation identifier, which is an identifier we are maintaining that enable to identify a whole citation that is the relation entity A cites entity B, so the whole thing. Uh, since last year, um, two years ago right now, uh, Open Citation has benefited from, greatly from crowdfunding that comes from the scholarly community that has resulted mainly from SCOS selection of Open Citations as a scholarly infrastructure worthy of support and from its involvement also in international projects such as Open Air Nexus project, which is a, a Europe, uh, European funded project, uh, where we work with other institutions and infrastructures, uh, including Open Air. An additional recognition by the scholarly community of the activities Open Citation has done so far was the Open Publishing Award in the category Open Data that was announced during the last uh, FORCE 2021 conference in December in the closing session. According to the jury panel, Open Citation is an infrastructure that perfectly represents the open principles and one of the fundamental projects in Open Publishing, specifically in Open Scientific Publishing. As a final note for this uh, quick introduction of Open Citation, it is worth of remembering that, that Open Citation exposes the UNESCO principle of open science, the principle of open scholarly infrastructures, the FAIR data principle that data should be findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable, and the initiative for open citation principles that citation data should be structured, separable, and open. In compliance with this value, one of Open Citation's main, main priorities is to keep all its services, software, and data always available without charge under open licenses. We use CC0 for data and ISC for software in order to enabling and fostering maximum reuse of all the components, all the entities we provide. This undeniable aspect of keeping everything free for all leads to an acknowledged sustainability issue, principally in terms of salaries and technical infrastructure costs. Open citation can rely on an international network of generous, generous supporters that apply for membership and donation programs. We are really grateful to all the institutions that believe in our mission and values. However, we are already far from, uh, from being fully financially sustained and sustained infrastructure. And we still need help in the next year from the global scholarly community in order to keep all these bibliographic and citation data and the related services available for many years to come. Just, uh, let's say, a last word and let me show 
show up again in in the camera uh, that just to mention that open citation is not a single entity together all together we can make a difference here and create an open and inclusive future for science and research and i would like to uh, end my presentation to our let's say motto that we used to in several presentation in the past year we often say that open citation is a plural is not a single entity is a plural together all together all the community working together are open citation and that was my last message uh, of the present of this presentation so i would like to thank you all for the invitation of providing an introduction of what we are doing we have done and what we are doing uh, in the next years so thank you thank you so much for for your time